Hi everybody, here's a poem um, for a tea break by um, Mary Oliver. Uh, for I will consider my dog, Percy. For I will consider my dog, Percy, for he was made small but brave of heart. For if he met another dog, he would kiss her in kindness. For when he slept, he snored only a little. For he would be silly and noble in the same moment. For when he spoke, he remembered the trumpets, and when he scratched, he struck the floor like a drum. For he ate only the finest foods and drank only the purest water, yet would nibble a dead fish head. <laughs> it actually says, yet would nibble a dead fish also. For he came to me impaired and therefore certain of a short life, yet thoroughly rejoiced in each day. For he took his medicine without argument. For he played easily with the neighbour's bull mastiff. When he came upon mud, he splashed through it. For he was an instrument for children to learn benevolence upon. For he listened to poems as well as love talk. For when he sniffed, it was as if he were being pleased by every part of the world. For when he sickened, he rallied as many times as he could. For he was a mixture of gravity and waggery. For we humans can seek self-destruction in ways he never dreamed of. For he took action both cunning and reckless, yet refused always to offer himself to be admonished. For his sadness, though without words, was understandable. For there was nothing sweeter than his peace when at rest. For there was nothing brisker than his life when in motion. For he was tribe of wolf. For when I went away, he would watch for me at the window. For he loved me. For he suffered before I found him and never forgot it. For he loved Anne. For when he lay down to enter sleep, he did not argue about whether or not God made him. For he would fling himself upside down and laugh a true laugh. For he loved his friend Ricky. And for, and he, for he would dig holes in the sand and let Ricky lie in them. For often I see his shape in the clouds. And this is a continual blessing. Thank you.